This is Matt Ward at the Riverwoods Eye Center. I'm going to show you a case of fake DMEC in a young patient with Fuchs dystrophy. You might ask, when should I perform a fake DMEC instead of DMEC after or combined with cataract surgery? In general, I feel that fake DMEC is an easier procedure than DMEC after or combined with cataract surgery. This observation helps me determine when to perform DMEC with an intact lens. Here are my guidelines. First, fake DMEC is reasonable when cataract is minimal. There is no reason to remove an intact lens. For example, the patient in this video is in her 40s and has a clear lens. The second reason I consider fake DMEC is when a patient desires a toric intraocular lens. DMEC can sometimes unpredictably change corneal curvature after healing. If a patient is motivated to obtain astigmatism correction with their cataract surgery, then I recommend performing DMEC first and proceeding with cataract surgery at least one month, but preferably three months after the transplant. Finally, pseudophagic DMEC can be challenging in large eyes with deep anterior chambers as a graft can be difficult to unfold. If I have a patient with very high myopia and a large anterior chamber, I may consider doing their surgery with their lens intact, even if they have a significant cataract. As I would in any DMEC case, I begin by making an inferior peripheral iridotomy. In phacic cases, I prefer to use micro scissors to avoid any manipulation underneath the iris that could cause trauma to the lens. Next, Destamase membrane is scored 360 degrees using a reverse Sinsky hook and peeled away from the stromal bed. A 2.8 millimeter clear corneal incision is made and the remaining Destamase membrane is removed completely. The Jones tube is used to inject the graft. The chamber shallows easily, easily to manipulate with the 30 gauge cannulas. And it's clear that the graft is upside down. Jets of BSS are used to manipulate the graft and Invert it. Now the S is in the proper orientation. The chamber is shallowed and the graft repositioned to center it prior to complete unfolding. And with the lens in place, it's very easy to shallow the chamber and manipulate the graft. So there it is all rolled out, nicely centered with the S-stamp confirming the correct orientation. An air bubble is used to float the graft into position. And the case is quite straightforward. This is Matt Ward at the Riverwoods Eye Center. Thank you very much.